What is going on, folk? It's NimbleThor here, and welcome back to my mobile gaming quest, where today we are going to play Desert Island Fishing, which is the first fishing mobile game, and get this, guys, the first one I'm playing since I played Fishing Strike exactly one year ago, as of today, as of the recording of this video. Coincidence? I think not, guys, and that can only mean one thing. I am being spied on by Google, for sure. They knew exactly when they had to suggest me to play this game. For some reason, I guess I'm in a fishing mood here in April every single year, it seems. And Google knew that, so grab your tinfoil hat, guys. We are going deep today to see if we can catch exactly what it is we're looking for here in this casual indie fishing game, of course. And what are we actually looking for? Probably not this plank that we're about to catch right now. But you know what, we're still gonna catch this one and then we can sell it to get some more gold. So what are we looking for? We're looking for grass clump that lives in the desert island area, which is where we're at right now, 14 to 20 meters out, and then we have to use sunfish fish food, which we weren't using, so that's why we weren't able to catch that. And then 14 to 20 meters, so we hold down our finger on the screen, move up here to the desired length, and then we let go, and now our line is in the water and we have three different options for fish that we can either choose to discard or we can choose to catch them. We can only choose to catch one of them though. So the tricky decision we have to make now is do we want to catch this one, which is a rare one, or do we want to move on? I chose to move on here, but we could also choose to move on one more time, but then we'll get to the last fish and we have to catch that one. I think I'm gonna do that. No, that wasn't the one we were looking for, but it was a rare one nonetheless though. And then we have to tap twice because this was a rare one at just the right time and we have to move up and down here on the right side, reeling in our line again. So that is how you catch a fish. That is the entire process that we have to go through over and over again in our different mission. So I've got a mission right now, for example, where we have to catch sea grapes, an unknown fish, and another unknown fish. So let's just continue throwing out our line here between 14 and 20 meters to see if we can make that happen. Let's go for another round here. We got a wishing coin, I think that is, and some garbage, and oh, wait, isn't this one of them? I think this might be one of them. Oh, and three times we have to, oh, that was so close. We have to do it three times and time this correctly as well. We tap the screen, by the way, to move up and there we go. We caught, what was this? Don't even know what it was, but we're gonna keep it because maybe that was one of the items that we needed. Was it? Oh yes, indeed it was. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So now we just need sea grapes and that last unknown fish down there. So let's see if we can make that happen. Let's throw it out. Again, our line here. Let's go for 18 meters this time. Here we go. Into the depth it goes. We got another plank. We got a normal fish and another common fish. Oh well, we can always sell these though. We can always sell these fish. And then with the gold we got from that, we can buy new equipment, such as, for example, a new hooks. So you guys can see there are plenty of hooks to buy here, and some of them get really, really expensive. Or we can even buy a new fishing rod. Now, I don't want to buy a new fishing rod right now, because this one, for example, can at minimum throw out to 20 meters. And one of the fishes that we're trying to catch right now can only be caught between 14 and 20 meters. So that's not really the best option right now. But I do want to buy one of these new hooks, though. It's only gonna cost 400 US dollars, in-game US dollars, don't worry. And so now we can use these for how many times? For 25 throws, we can use them. So let's just keep going here. We still have five of that rare bait left as well that we need to catch the fish that we're trying to catch right now. So let's just keep going here. Oh, that was so easy. Some of these get really, really easy to catch, but the entire reason we wanna catch them is to complete these missions over here. And the reason why we wanna complete the missions is that whenever we do so, our character levels up, and when it levels up, we get to choose some permanent stat increases. Oh, look at this. We actually found the one we're looking for. Okay, we have to do this three times in a row. There we go. Perfect. And now let's just catch this one. Great. Yes, great. Great. Rare. We got it. Yes, we got the rare one. Let's have a look. How many do we need now then? Uh, let's go in here to our mission and have a look. So that must have been for... For, for which mission was that even? Something is fishy here, no pun intended. Oh, so this is the one we're trying to do now, right? Complete this set and trade it for a self-improvement book. So that was the one that the game guide at least wanted us to do, even though I was actually working on doing this one up here instead. So let's see what it says the next item we need is. Uh, requires Eleanor Fisher, okay, so let's use him, and requires standard fish food, so let's do that. So as you guys can see, it is pretty simple to complete these missions, as long as you just follow the game guide, but we are, of course, absolutely free to do whatever we want, whenever we want to do it. This is not one of the ones we need, this is not one of the ones we need, but I can't see what it is, so I kind of want to catch it, so that we unlock it and we can see what it is, but I'm gonna skip it. Oh, this is certainly a plastic bag, right? Please tell me this is a plastic bag. I mean, it, it, it has to be a plastic bag. Yes, it is. Oh, you can sell a plastic bag for 29 <laughs> We can sell a plastic bag for $29? 
that's pretty awesome. We also have no less than seven different islands that we can move back and forth between, as you guys can see right here. We moved to another one just before to be able to finish the mission that we were looking at, this one over here. Most of the items that we need for this one apparently can be caught over here on this island instead. So we're gonna give that a go for some time now instead to see if we can complete that mission. And then, you know, later on we can always go back again. Now in terms of the monetization, this is actually a perfect timing. Look at this, we got a television here, which, yeah, you guessed it, is gonna show us an advertisement if we click yes, but then on the other hand we get 500 in-game gold, which is quite a bit of gold. You guys saw that we can sell most of these fish for, you know, between 25, 29 maybe, up to 50 or 60 in-game US dollars for most of what we catch. So 500 is indeed quite a bit. So it's a good deal if you don't mind watching an advertisement every now and again, and it can certainly really help you. Now, the other way the game monetizes is by selling us pearls, as you guys can see in here, and these pearls can be used to either buy more inventory space or they can be used to buy more gold, which then, of course, we can use to buy new hooks, new rods, and, you know, new bait and new lures up here. Some of these get, get really expensive, and even some of these over here can only be bought for pearls. As you guys can see, it says P100, P200, and P300. So that's 100, 200, and 300 pearls, respectively. So that's how the game monetizes. The monetization is fair-ish. I would like to see more inventory space, as you guys can see over here. We actually only have room for three more fish or some sort of other item that we catch from these seas here, and then once our inventory is full, we are forced to sell something, which can be really frustrating when you're trying to complete multiple missions at the same time, because you don't want to sell any of it, because you probably need it for one mission or the other. But that is just one of the ways the game chose to monetize, and it is the part that frustrates me the most about this game. But apart from that, though, it is a fun game, it's a well-made fishing game, that's for sure, and it's one of those games that you can perfectly play while watching a movie or even a television series that you don't really have to follow that closely, or, or guys, get this, while listening to to the podcast I recorded with Tiny Little Games recently. Yes, if you haven't listened to it yet and you're into mobile gaming, you might be missing out. I'm just saying, link in the pinned comment down below. In any case, let's get to the mobile gaming news of the day, which is that China has now started approving new games again. So for those unfamiliar with the story, China put a lockdown on new game releases at some point in 2018, and they've been slowly working through the backlog of games being submitted to the council, who now has to approve every single game before it can be released in the country. Today's news both indicates that China has now started approving new games while they're still working on the backlog, and that they will limit the number of new game releases to just about 5,000 per year, which will prevent copycat games and other low-quality titles to be released in China. And now I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I couldn't help but think that while this certainly sounds rather strict, it might just be exactly what Google Play and the App Store could use as well, right? Stricter rules for submitting mobile games. Or will that only hinder innovation and create, you know, more boring and clean games that don't really dare to innovate? I am sure that you'll let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below, and I very much look forward to interacting with you guys down there in the comment section. So with that said, let's wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe if you're new around here, and most importantly, until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.